Hello my YouTube subscribers. I hope everyone has slept like kings and queens last night, and is doing well physically and mentally and emotionally on this day. Today's video is about, Nicki Minaj Pink Friday 2 release date. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment on this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for future livestream and videos. And share this video with your friends and family members, who are fans of Nicki Minaj. Now. Roll the footage. But. Mm, <laughs> I think I like my. I think I like it as leaving it on my birthday, right? But, um, but, you know, the, the, the album is just incredible. And I cannot wait to be able to talk about this music. You know what I'm saying? It's that kind of music that you can't wait to digest and decipher and talk and you know just good old-fashioned talking but um i just wanted to let y'all know that i really really appreciate the love and support that you guys have been giving me thus far um you know so it's, it's other gags on deck um but yeah that's all that's all You can't change the date again. I already took I already took off work. You took off work. Oh, if Big Fendi said you the goat. We excited. Thank you. Regarding the track list, I'm not I'm you will not know. You will not get the track list until the album comes out. I don't care how you feel about it. That's just it. That's just that's just it. And um yeah. I just got someone's vocals today. And um can't wait to can't wait for you guys to see who's featured on the album too. I'm really looking forward to that part. Um But yeah, if I were if if I were to move it um the latest it would be would be the week after. I mean, you know, Cause, Cause, this is just I can't like it's too good, y'all. It's too good to hold on to. I can't. You guys, make sure you go Nicki Minaj official dot com and um get your tour tickets pre sale, please. Oh, y'all got Nicki Nice planned already. Oh, I'm gonna go on um I'm gonna go on live on YouTube, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all know, but I'm in the stool right now. So I'm a little busy. Um, and why this thing making my face look mad fat? <clears throat> anyway, I love you very much. And um, this is the Barb's moment. This is the Barb's moment. You know. The first song alone on this album, it is, oh, wow, 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 and I, um, it's, it, Let's let's get let's talk about that on December eighth. Let's talk about that then, okay? But just know that the album will change the game for sure. And the album is greatness and 
it features artists who are greatness too. And there are things that I have to speak on. You know what I'm saying? There are things that I got to speak on because I can and I want to. Um, so December 8th, yeah, on December 8th, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. And on December 4th, I believe I'm in Chicago. Yeah, but I can't get over the how beautiful this album is. I can't get over how Savon B said, bye, girl. No, you bye, bitch. Blocked. Blocked. You see how easy that was? You want to be fucking dumb? Be fucking dumb. Just do it on someone else's block. D-Biggs, how would you describe the album? So, if you would like what you've heard. Mm. It is gonna like change the way people will have to start rapping again, man. This shit is gonna be like it's gonna be like Pink Friday all, all over again, man. Mm. Everything pink. Mm. Fainted. From, from that point on. Well. Everything pink, yeah. That's the thing. Um, how many tracks? Well. Um, the truth is, I added some songs because I, um, you know. Oh, they said they couldn't hear what you were saying, the bigs, I don't know. He said that the album is what y'all want. However you guys perceive that to be. He said the album is what y'all, what y'all want, what y'all been waiting for. Um, and. It is going to make people start rapping again. Oh, he said it's going to make people start rapping again. You know. Um, what's crazy is, will Uzi be on the album? No. Um, what's crazy is, um, I mean, you know. What's crazy is that everything happens for a reason. And, is Drake on the album? Is Wayne on the album? Yo. No, she won't lie, though. Okay. Yeah, come on, sir. I feel great about it. Um, About the reviews that I've been getting on Pink Friday to the perfume. I feel great about it, actually. I'm so happy. Um... I've been wearing it for I told y'all I've been wearing it for the last couple months. And y'all heard and y'all heard me. I was like one live when they um brought me the box and and I was like, yeah, like, you know, cuz I go through a lot of a lot of fragrances before I choose one, you know, cuz I'm very picky and I always do the test, which is I always have to sleep with the perfume on and wake up the next morning and see what it's hitting for. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga got to wake up the next morning. And be like, oh my. You know what I'm saying? And it's a sm- and, and, with it, and with your fragrances, there's that, there's that instant first moment smell. And then there's that simmer smell. But then there's that next morning smell. 
Oh. And and you know, when you get out of the bed, he's he's hugging onto the pillow because he loves your smell so much. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know. Nikki, I'm gonna spray it on my man's clothes so he remembers the album date is coming. On what? Uh huh. Anyway, so yeah. Um. Of course, my husband Elvis Pickett. So um, I mean, you know, anybody around me, I sprayed one them. I make sure I get a bunch of thumbs up. Science, thank you. Love my seventy-three questions and everything. Thank you, darling. Do I prefer indigo or sativa? You know what? I started this morning on indigo, and for the first time in a minute, I said, you know, let me fuck with the sativa. I think I'm, a, I'm I think I'm a go back to the to the wild side. Um, but I've been like I said, I was I was actually mixing um the pink print and Pink Friday two perfume before Pink Friday two came out recently. Loving it, I can't stop. I'm obsessed. Um, I've always been a perfume person. You know, one of those people that spray mad perfume and say, like I, when you know when people spray like little you know i'll be like oh that's so cute like how that you know i i'll be like i can't wait to see you in canada thank you darling the tour starts in march any dancehall songs in the album you'll know on december 8th right Any pop features on the album? What's a pop feature? Hmm. Any pop songs? Um. Never. I, well, I would never in my life do an edible ever again. Okay, you guys. God bless you. Have a great day. Love yourself. You are perfect. You are important. You are more than enough okay um i might i'm a double back and i'll and and actually i um i have a special guest coming today and so bookmark it and i'll tell you who once the album comes out okay love you whoa whoa so do you all believe that the Pink Friday 2 album is going to make today's rappers rap again. Because today's rap is trash and is poisoning the youth, you see how this generation is acting, because of what they listen to on a daily basis. And what makes it sad is that they're the ones who have children, and the children is also listened to what their parents listen to. Even the teacher was going off on the parents for allowing their children to be raised by TV and music of today. All the parents, if you're a parent and your child is in pre-k to elementary school elementary school to high school i'm calling you out the children today i have never experienced and i'm i'm 22. having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life i teach five-year-olds ballet five-year-old girls ballet i have a class of 10 students they don't respect any authority you ask them can you stand in your designated spot they're telling you no and shut up they're throwing things at each other they're throwing things at other people other classmates you say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today, I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. 
Well, clearly she didn't want to sit. And mind you, this is a mom. Clearly she didn't want to fucking sit right there. So, I mean, if she's telling you she don't want to do something, why keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. What world do we live in? Like, what in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing. It's not that serious. And y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane, insane agenda push I have ever seen in my life. We do freeze dance. You guys' daughters are twerking at five. Five. Where is the parenting? Where is the boundaries? Where is the help? Y'all are not helping your kids. You're hurting them. You guys are hurting them. I come every day dressed, ready to go, and I'm in school too. I'm in college. I mean, I put bows in my hair. I'm wearing leotards. I, I'm trying to get them interested in, in, in like proper things for their age, and you guys are exposing your kids to this raunchy secular music. Why is you guys' five-year-old daughter singing for Pound Town? And it's just really. This is exactly why I say that. I think everyone needs to have a license to have children and have them go through parenting classes because you need license for everything else. You need a license to drive a vehicle. You need a license to own a gun. You need a license to go fishing. But yet they let everyone become parents. Let me know if you agreed, down in the chat room. And this the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. You are the real M. V. P. Don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Leave a comment on this video, letting people know your thoughts on Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday 2, being pushed back to December the 8th. And how today's music is poisoning the youth. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for future live stream and videos like this, and share this video with your friends and family members, who are fans of Nicki Minaj, and to know the dangerous domino affect of today's music that got everyone acting how they acted in their songs. This is the People's Champ 1983, and I am signing out. Have a wonderful day everyone. Goodbye for now. Here we go now. It's time to rise and shine. You should know by now. I stay. On my grind. This is Big Meech. With the custom beat. This one. Is made. As a special treat. I can make things. Go with the flow. I think by by now. That you should really know. I am from Philly. Like the rapper Gilly. But I am not a sellout. Like Meek Millie. You all know he did. He stay bragging, he is skinny, but his little leggings, it be really sagging, I know that's funny, he only there for money, and even go low as to steal your honey. Always showing off his toys, but then get caught, playing with boys, with lil baby, when I first heard that, I was like, they must be crazy, people will do anything for money and fame, but after that, it would never be the same, all because you want in on the game, the rap game, to make a name, yourself, but you ended up selling your soul just to get well. You're mentally unstable, go seek help, and tell them the people's champ sent you, and after that, you know what not to do.